The design that you see here is for some shelter belt planting and the G-Card Plus broad scale tools have been used. That's the broad scale planting tools that are here. What that enables you to do, let me just cancel from there, what that enables you to do of course is to use the same symbol over and over again but to assign different species with it and it enables you to generate a planting schedule. There are times this is a fairly washed out um, view and the reason being that these individual symbols have had transparency applied to them. There may well be a need to show a client a print that has a little more punch. Well one way to do that is to go to tools and choose the Mac raster tool and that enables us to export a raster image and I'm going to put it in my downloads folder. I adjust or pick a rectangle so we want to replicate what we see on the screen here. I won't be terribly fussy about it but I need to get it the rectangle outside. That's done it. I can change my resolution here so we're going to put it out as a test JPEG, I'll call it test 01 and I've changed the resolution to 450 we could make it 600 dots per inch, that will put the size over 10,000 which I suspect GK Plus will object to so I'm going to make it 450 so a new file will be produced, a raster image and popped into the downloads folder and in a moment we should be done and there we are what I'm then going to do is to start our favourite image editor, EFAN View, and we'll load the very same drawing in EFAN View and see if we can improve the contrast of the image. Well, here's our image saved to our downloads folder and opened in EFAN View. And uh, we can go to Image and Color Corrections down here. And you can actually save a group of settings, but I want to demonstrate manually by just moving things around. See how as I move these little slider boxes, the image changes in intensity. We can change the contrast and so on. And as I move around, things get brighter and may not be as obvious to you. But if there's the original on the left and here's the finished article. We could save, I've called that one Color 01, and that applies that particular set of, uh, of settings in the new image, and we'll just OK it. And there we are, dramatic change, and that I think we can send off to the client. Design here was based on a grid. The grid was set up in GK Plus and then twisted at the angle of the, uh, there was an angle at the back of the site. So I hope you can agree that if you need to have a, a, a design or part of a design that really can pop out to show a client, this is a really handy way of combining GCAD Plus's tools with our favourite image editor, the free EFAN view. It comes highly recommended.